to those looking to invest in real estate sometimes want a quick and easy way to evaluate a property. I'm going to use $100,000 as a purchase price and while some of my California friends may laugh, there are many markets across the country where you can get a very solid property for even less than this. So the 1% rule breaks down like this. If my purchase price is $100,000, I want to rent that property for 1% or 1000 per month or more, uh, which should cover all my expenses and at the worst, I can break even. So once you figure out 1% of your purchase price, you then determine local market rents for a property similar to yours and do you know, your due diligence to check your numbers against local comps. So while this kind of analysis works well for some markets, it does not work in every market. You know, though it would be nice, there's very little chance a million dollar house in Los Angeles will rent for $10,000 per month. So this rule is uh, best to apply to gross income of your property without taking into account the cap rate or net income, uh, things I'll talk about in later videos. Um, this strategy also works best with smaller residential rentals, a single family, duplex, triplex, quadruplex in lower price markets. Uh, so post any questions in the comments, let me know about rental properties you have, and I would love to hear about your investing adventures.